Welcome back, this is Tredius with another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise and we are going to be facing the San Francisco 49ers who have a slightly worse record than we do but looking at the overalls they will be pretty evenly matched with us. Um, I expect a lot of danger from Trey Lance here. We've got two remaining games this season. One is the 49ers and one is the Jets at least in the regular season. Um, we're coming off a loss against the Lions. That was super infuriating. We had a fumble in the fourth quarter uh, when we were ahead, and that was just that was just terrible. That uh, cost us a touchdown. Aiden Hutchinson just grabbed the ball, just jogged into the end zone. We couldn't do anything about that. That really hurt us a lot. Luckily, didn't impact our plans on getting into the playoffs. We're still the fifth seeded team, so that is positive. Um, I uh, think it's uh, due to the fact that the Patriots have a slightly worse record than we do. Um, what is absolutely unfathomable for me is the Bills' performance, 2-13. I have no clue what's going on there. But uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at the 49ers now. The 49ers are going to be led by franchise QB Trey Lance, 88 overall, star def trade, 24 years old. Super solid quarterback, nothing more to add to that. Short accuracy, medium accuracy, very good throw, power is high. So a lot of good things uh, to be said about Trey Lance. Uh, no real weaknesses. We've got Bryson played a rookie behind him, Jake Fromm and Brock Purdy. Not much to add about these. They're just three backup QBs with no specials. Uh, the halfback is Elijah Mitchell, uh, who is... A very, very good running back. He has been with the 49ers for quite a few years now. Trey Sermon also still there. Tyrion Davis Price. Also, is it Tyrion or Tyrion like in Game of Thrones? Not sure about that one. Uh, fullback is Kyle Yushik. Uh, very, very solid player uh, for the 49ers right now. Um, he's been with them for ages since joining from the Baltimore Ravens. Wide receiver Debo Samuel, superstar X Factor, 99 rated overall, super dangerous player, sixth ranked wide receiver in the game at the moment. Catcher traffic, catching so high, very dangerous. Behind him, Robbie Anderson, who recently joined from the Carolina Panthers, so he's a new addition to the 49ers wide receiving room. Danny Gray is injured, Jalen Ragor is also there, and Matt Gibson. Jalen Ragor, I think, also with the uh, well, actually he's not with the philly eagles at the moment i think he's with the panthers if i'm not mistaken but i could be mistaken right there uh, tight end of course is george kittle i think he is the best tight end in the game no he's number two jesus christ so the best has to be i don't know travis kelsey someone like that but still super dangerous Tavon bayer and chase sternberger are also in the tight end room um the Offensive line is made up of Andre Dillard and George Fant behind him. Andre Dillard, let's take a quick look at this player here. He joined in the 2023 season coming from the Philadelphia Eagles. Left guard David Edwards, also a new addition. He's coming from the Los Angeles Rams, who he was with uh, since, uh, since 2019 up to 2022. Now, 2023, he switched to the arch rivals of the Rams. Uh, which are the 49ers. Center Bradley Bozeman behind him, Dawson Deaton. I think Bradley Bozeman also coming from another club. Yeah, from Las Vegas before it was with the Carolina Panthers. So a lot of changes at the offensive line. Cody Ford, let's see if, yeah, he was with the Buffalo Bills up to the 2023 season. Uh, also very tough player, Mike McGlinchey at right tackle start of trade right there he was with the 49ers for quite a long time now so solid offensive line very very good uh quarterback dangerous offense what about the defense arik armstead superstar at left edge uh 30 years old out of oregon fourth ranked left end in the game power moves tackle block shedding player recognition strength awareness super dangerous oh my lord alonzo joiner behind him nick bosa all on the other side so two super dangerous edge rushers drake drake jackson with a beanie right there that is interesting but uh if it keeps him warm then that's fine by me 
Right Edge Superstar X Factor, Joey Bosa. Nope, sorry, Nick Bosa. <laughs> Joey Bosa, of course, playing with the Chargers. And then we've got the D-Tackle. First, not so highly rated defensive player here. Tim Settle. Where did he come from? Joining from the Buffalo Bills. So that's maybe a little bit of a weakness for the Bills right there. Um, and from coming from the Carolina Panthers is Tommy Togiai. So D tackles not as highly rated from the overalls, but look at the strength rating, the awareness, and so on. So dangerous D tackles. Maurice Hurd is a rookie. Start of trade to rookie out of Clemson, 79 overall at left outside linebacker. Good acceleration for him. Mid linebacker Fred Warner, Barrett Carter, Chris Orr. Let's take a look at, at uh, Barrett Carter with a uh, hidden depth trade here. 70 overall, good speed. But the star of the show, of course, is Fred Warner, only with a start of trade, which is a little bit surprising for me. But doesn't really matter too much. He is the best mid linebacker in the game. 99 awareness, 99 player recognition, pursuit, acceleration, tackle. He is going to be rocking the boat. Right outside linebacker Justin Hollins. He was with the LA Rams before. Uh, since 2023, he is with the 49ers. Cornerback Javarius Ward and Ambry Thomas are going to be covering that. He is a superstar. That is surprising. The Michigan product here. Uh, let's take a quick look. He was with the 49ers for a long time. I think Chavari's Ward as well. Yeah, with the Chiefs since 20... Uh, was with Chiefs in 2021. Darnay Holmes, Clark Phillips III, and Diomodora Lenoir. What a name, dude. Uh, then we've got uh, James Williams at free safety. Also looking like a rookie here. Cool hairdo. 6'5", 230 pounds. And quite dangerous. Speed, player recognition, hit power very high. Dontrell Gregory and Aaron Slade only backers, but Jameson Williams looks really solid. Strong safety, Jimmy Ward also been there for ages. And Israel Mukwamu as his backup. Kicker, David Turner, punter, Eddie Graves. Looking to be new additions to the team. And with that said, we're going to take a look at the weekly strategy. Um, this one's going to be tough. Because we are facing... A very good quarterback, good wide receivers, dangerous tight ends, and a good running room. So all of that combined is making this quite quite tough to decide what to do. Um, we're going to go with uh, the thing that I feel most comfortable with, which of course is uh, the short pass. If we limit the short passing, we should be able to limit the tight ends and uh, the the wide receivers on the short routes as well as maybe the running uh, since it's uh, set up in a rather tight way uh, on on defense i think here our best bet is going to be blitz counter uh, we do uh, risk the faster reaction to short pass but uh, if we go for the run inside now uh, we have the inside run block but i hardly think that this will work um, against these dangerous uh, edge rushers on the other hand, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to use a recommendation here. I really have a lot of respect for this uh, for this squad. Uh, we're going to start by practicing, of course, with Talia a lot. The halfbacks, going to put that on the backups. I need Peach uh, and Robinson to be fit. Wide receivers going to be splitting. Tight ends going to be splitting. I think everybody else can split that. Uh, doesn't look like we have any major fatigue issues here uh looking at this sack the qb five times yeah we're just gonna try that allow 20 points we're gonna hope for that 300 yards 250 let's go for this and we're gonna win the turnover battle with that said let's start training all right defense has completed we have a slight addition in fatigue here not really what i wanted to see but no injuries and that is the most important thing let's take a look at offense no injuries either so far. That is great. Uh, the focus experience points are, of course, being spent on the younger players where we've got mentors added. Um, we're going to upgrade the players now. Nitani Muti will get an upgrade. We're going to put that into power. Just going to push the power rating up as far as I can. And uh, 
when we've completed that, I will look to uh, improve Agile, but it's still too far off. The same thing with the Tyro Smith, just gonna bump this one as much as I can uh, bump it. <clears throat> Impact block, pass block, pass block power and strength. That is looking good. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. at mid linebacker. He is a recent addition to the room here. The rookie out of Clemson. Uh, his attributes are slowly but surely looking up. I think he's a player that we can sort of build in, uh, build on for the future. Uh, in regards to Andre Carter Jr., I have to put everything into Speed Rusher, get this upgraded as much as I can, and then I will turn towards the other ones. And finally, Bijan Robinson will also get one. Where do we uh, catch, release, short route running? We're going to put it into Power Back. I need to reduce that fumbling. That is the most important thing um, because that has cost us and he's just fumbled so many balls over the course of the season, really hurting us there. Let's take a quick look at the roster if we need to reassign players, if we need to take care of things. No, we're looking good so far. Um, I think, I think I'm going to try putting uh, DeAndre Swift. I will do that in game. But uh, the offensive line is looking quite solid. That is great. Defense, we've got no injuries here, so that is looking good as well. Uh, the special teams are set. The specialists are set. The practice squad is brimming with talent. Is there anybody here that we should be looking at? We've got Jeremy Ruckert here. And actually, I almost forgot about him, but we will just bring him in instead of uh, instead of hunter long shouldn't be too much of a difference here levi stadium in san francisco is where we're going to be playing the san francisco 49ers monday night primetime trey lands here 3324 yards on the season 26 touchdowns nine interceptions talia doesn't have this record yet I would say not yet, but I think that we can get him uh, there. Uh, we will be playing in our all-white away uniforms, so no surprises right there. The uh, 49ers going to be playing their standard home uniforms, so nothing out of the order here. Uh, we will just have to be exceptionally focused here against this dangerous team. Uh, that is a very balanced on offense and defense, and they're on the board straight away. Three versus O at the moment as we start our first offensive snaps. Now uh, we're gonna see what we can pull off here with uh, Bijan, but uh, it is going to be quite uh, quite the challenge breaking through this very very stacked defensive line. That was a very good first run, though, so we're not going to question that too much. Here we go. Jamar Chase, maybe Waddle on the left side. We've got Mayer. We've got Johnson. So uh, a few options to go for here. Um, and uh, eight yards on the gain here as we get the ball to DJ Johnson on the left. The second tight end. Putting a man in motion here. That is DJ Johnson, number 42. And off we go towards... Oh my lord, third and one held after a yard. That was a little bit surprising. We're going to go with an inside zone again. And we're going to try and break into that area right over there. Get that first down. There we go. Number 52 did come across here. That's heard. That was heard. All right, what do we do next? Um, I would like to go for um, maybe something like a mesh right now. I want to test that. Um, I believe that we we have a chance uh, at really getting something from this game, but we will have to play exceptionally well. And that is almost a pick here by Ward. And that is not what I meant when I said we have to play exceptionally well. Let's go with the vertical as wide drag here. 
Gonna look for Mayor. Think the short route should be good option here. Out of reach. An injury for Nick Bosa. That is the best thing to come of this play. And I would say we bungled that one. That is, a, that is not a good drive at the moment. We've got Mayer on the right. We've got Chase on the left. Come on. That is a safe catch. And that is a good first down. Michael Mayer getting out onto the right-hand side here. Breaking away from the defender in a way that I wasn't really expecting from him. And then he had the strength to hold on to the ball. So that was a very good one. That was a good... Good throw, good pass, good catch as well. We're going to go with a mesh spot here. Let's try this one. We're very close. We should be able to bridge those 16 yards. Uh, but I don't want to mess it up with a bad throw here. Again, Mayor, five yards on the play here. That was good. We're going to go with an inside zone, left-hand side this time. Could we put... Do we have a good route? Maybe let's try the bench dig curl. Can I put it on chase? Yes, we can. We're going to spike the ball just for the heck of it. Jamar Chase finally, finally getting a ball again. I know I have been... Uh, I have not been utilizing him as much as I maybe should be. Um... I mean, we're spoiled with really good wide receivers, actually. So that is uh, definitely something that uh, is good. But then again, our run uh, run game is just so solid. Um, and Pijan is just working so well that I hardly ever feel the need to really turn towards uh, the wide receivers, especially looking at Talia. Since he's not not yet that developed. There we go. Safe catch. That was very well done here by Jalen Waddle. As Tanimuti picks up an injury. No. Not again. Oh, lying on the ground there. That is never nice to see as he's hobbling off the field. Let's hope that it's nothing too crucial. We're in the second quarter. 4 minutes and 11 on the clock here. Lock has stopped, obviously. Do we have a good one? No, not really. Gonna try and get the most out of this run play. And it looks like we get quite a few yards here. Down to the 25 with four minutes to go in this second half. As Bijan once more. Oh, and that is a PCL sprain. We're gonna use Kendrick Green. He's a very solid backup. Really liking him a lot. He feels like a, like a player that I can really rely on. They're setting up very centrally here. Could I exploit that somehow? Do I go with a bench dick curl? Do I go with Jamar Chase out there? Let's try this one. Ooh, lunging for it, but out of bounds. So we don't get that one. Not too happy. Let's see. DJ Johnson or Michael Mayer. I feel like sometimes I put a lot of unnecessary... Oh, that is a fumble. Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a recovery. Third and two. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was about to praise DJ Johnson there. Where is he? Uh, can I just select him? There we go. Good route, good run, a lot of space. And actually, I like this one a lot here. That shove against number one. But then that was the hit. And on the draw, on, on, on falling down, he dropped the ball. And luckily, it was Jalen Waddle ahead of Fred Warner. Because I'm just going to turn the camera here for your viewing pleasure. Do you see the field? Do you see the field? This would have been absolutely horrendous. It would have been a touchback or a touchdown. And that would have been terrible. 
Let's get those two yards here. First and ten. All right. So we get that done. That was important. Controller is vibrating. Not liking this one bit. Two minutes fifty on the clock at the moment. Inside zone run. We're gonna go with this. I don't see that much of a good up possibility here when going with another play. Now we're just gonna go with this. Let's hope we open up nicely. And we do, we do, we get into the end zone. That is great, man. What a great run. That was a very good opening. 13 and 3 in the second quarter. As Bijan goes for their run. What a beautiful block out there by Waddle. That was fantastic. Well done, Bijan. We get the touchdown. Now let's hold them. And that is fantastic. Defense holds them. I didn't expect them to do that, but currently we're really... Ooh, but we're pushed back pretty far. So we're going to change this. I didn't check the yards. I was just elated to see the team being stopped. We're going to go with another run here. Oh, my Lord. First and ten, second and nine. Ooh, luckily we don't lose yards. Because that would mean... We're going to go with the corner strike. But that needs time to develop, and we don't have time here. So we're going to go with another inside zone. Let's get Bijan going. Let's get that first time. Fred Warner, who else gets us down? Third and one. We have a little bit more space. We can go for a screenplay here. All right, we get the first down. We get out of bounds. We didn't really need to do that in the second quarter I would actually like to get the clock running a little bit more now but we've got Mayer, we've got Chase I think Mayer might be the better bet here yeah Bijan Robbins gets the ball, second and nine not stopped for a loss but that ball was overthrown into the air which made it very hard to catch here for Bijan. Uh, let's go with this one. 35 seconds, that is... That's okay for me. We're gonna call it timeout now. 24 seconds. I would like to get into field goal range. We're gonna use another slip screen here. Third and one. I'd like to get to the opposing 40. But the big question is if we can do that. 19 seconds still to go. Good catch. And that was a very good screen, actually. Really liking that one. Let's go with another one. This is slip screen mania right now. 19 seconds to go. Two timeouts left. Oh man, and number 52 with that lunge stopped us. And yeah, I'm going to let the clock run down now. Um, it's not that bad. We're 11 points ahead. We can build on that in the second half. As Monday night prime time. I mean, this is really nice. We're going to we're going to go for the inside run. To be honest, this is a uh, this is I think the best best bet for us. Bo Collins will be returning the kick here by Turner. And it's actually coming out pretty, pretty soon. Oh my god, a lot of bunching up here. 28. Didn't uh, go that far back. 64 yards today, one touchdown. Not as productive as last week. But uh, yeah, there we go. Four minutes, 56 in the third quarter to be played. We're going to go for a left-hand side run here. Bishan Robinson. Who else but my main man on running? Oh, could have gone to the left. Could have gone to the left, but we get the first down. And that is all that I expect or all that I want to see here. Is us just moving ahead at a steady pace. 63 goes for the block. And a lot of crushing tackles here but 
Nothing worrying. We're gonna get Robinson again. There we go. Good throw. Yeah, take him down here. Couldn't really get that far into the opposing half after this uh, pass, but not to worry. We're gonna go with another one. Left hand side here. Let's set up. Now, the offensive line not as tough this time around. Let's go with the mesh. Maybe I can get Waddle. Maybe I can get Collins. There we go. Waddle is actually super fast. And most of the time I do underestimate him, which is maybe a mistake. But uh, I'm really thinking of promoting him. Oh, Lord. I'm actually pretty happy that he was tripped up there. Um, we are going to go with a inside zone left-hand side. Let's cut down a little bit on the yards. It would be nice if we could break through here. 52. Gets a hit on his head for his troubles. All right. All right. Bijan Robinson's breathing very hard. We're going to have to give him a break now. Yeah, shoved out of bounds here, couldn't get past Holmes. Fourth and two. And it was a very precise pass. Fourth and two. Hmm, the suggestion actually is to go with a run play here. All right, let's try this. It is two. And that is blown up. That is blown up. I should have gone for the field goal. I was uh, I was tempted to go for this by the suggestion here, but it was a bad suggestion. Should have just gotten gotten the points. Um, there we go. Bijan gets that done. DeAndre Swift, not bad by any means, but of course he's just lacking the punch, lacking the power. Uh, we're going to go with the Robinson again on the left side. Can we get around the defenders? Yeah, only a yard here. We're going to go with the slip screen next. Really trying to keep, uh, keep them on their toes. I mean, the screen is working quite well so far, right? 15 out of 1950 yards tonight for Talia. That's not bad. That is not bad. It's not great. It's not uh, elite or anything, but it should keep his progression. Uh, just continuing forward. We have a good audible here. I think I'm going to go the inside zone split. Just a little bit more direct running. Yeah. First and 10, second and 10. That doesn't count as a loss, so we shouldn't have lost our x-factor as we enter the fourth quarter i'm super happy with our defense because they are a major contributor to the position we're currently in let's go with a halfback rail here we are gonna try to get the ball to robinson i don't think that he will be free the other routes are all just uh, to get players following them i guess yeah that was a panic throw, to be honest. Ah, oh, man. Austin Jackson. So we're going to be pushed back 10 yards. Still a second now. We're going to go with this mesh here. Maybe we can get Bo Collins free, but I fear that they're going to be blitzing. Yeah, and that is madly inaccurate. I don't know why, but for some reason, Talia tends to get very inaccurate uh, in the fourth quarter. I don't know if this is a pressure thing, if there's a, if there's some, some, some sort of a weird, uh, weird uh, attribute for that. For 13 here out of the 42, gonna go for a 59-yard field goal. That is a long way out, and there's some wind. 
Not a lot of power, and it's... Was that in? It's good. Oh my lord, looked like it fell just short. Did you see that? But it did cross the bar, so that's nice. Let's hold them, and we hold them again! Jesus Christ! Okay, Defense man of the match for today. Gonna hand out awards for everybody. Man in motion, number 42. Defense reacting pretty quickly here. Bijan Robinson. Can we break through? Oh, and we are blown up again. Again by Bosa. We lose yards. We lose the X factor. Let's go with a 24 zone open. Let's see. What can we go with here? Do we have a nice route? Let's try the burst cross. But we are, of course, going to flip that play. Gonna want to go towards the left. A little bit more space over there. Hot. There we go. And this is almost a little bit like a screen. Two minute warning hits us. 14 and 3. No, 17 and 3. Looking good. All right, let's go to halfback zone. But I do want to utilize my wide receivers a little bit more. So maybe we can get a bench switch going here. Jamar Chase is an option. Collins is an option. Would really like to get Collins. Oh, shoot. And that is not great. That is bad. That is super bad. Can we please tackle Fred Warner? Oh, hit while throwing the ball. And that is a cheap one to give away. As always, we give away one per game. And Bosa Warner, that's just such a tough defense, honestly. I mean, right now, all I want to see is us just running the ball here. This can end 24 10, 20 10, 17 17. There's everything. It's possible I need them to use up their timeouts. Oh my lord, he held on to the ball. Jesus Christ. That was a very tough hit. And on those hits, I am um, uh, rather cautious. Let's put it that way. All right, let's get that first down. Let's make him use all of their timeouts. Go, 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 go. First and ten. Final timeout to be used. I'm going to go with Hatpack Power O here. Left hand side run. Right, that snap took way longer than I wanted it to take. And held back here by Hollins. Second and inches. We're going to go with a very direct Hatpack dive. Just want to breakthrough here and here's the snap here's the breakthrough and we're down going for a lot of user trucks here and for a lot of stiff arms which means this is the, the breathing that you're hearing here I'm gonna go with the left hand side outside so we've got trust activated so that should be should be okay Get another first down. 50 seconds. Let's go the halfback wham. Left hand side again. Trying to just avoid those nasty players. But they're set up everywhere at the moment. 42 in motion. And we get going here. We are going to go with the special teams. We're going to, of course, try and take this 50, 60 yard field goal here. To seal the deal. Slightly towards the left, but uh, maybe the wind will correct that for us. And it does. All right, it's 20 and 10. We're out of reach. Not even if they went for a two-point conversion. And that's that should be the nail in the coffin for the 49ers. And it is. All right, so the game is over. We win on the road. That was massively important. Massively important to get going here to get those points 
And our defense really stepped up. Really stepped up a lot. Let's take a look at our player stats here. Tali, a 91 rating. One interception that dragged it down a little bit, but the touchdown, 171 yards, 17 out of 23. That is positive. Bijan also great as always. One touchdown, 140 yards, no fumbles. That's good. DeAndre Swift. I don't know, man. He's not bad, but uh, he's not really providing much in terms of running. We've got Bijan Robinson. Got Jalen Waddle, Michael Mayer, DJ Johnson chipping in here. Jamar Chase, 11 yards, but a touchdown. One reception. Andrew Dillard, David Edwards allowed the sacks. He was the tackle leader. Darnay Holmes, Fred Warner, Jimmy Ward, Maurice Hurd, all tied. Tackles for loss. Noah Sewell, Justin Hollins, Ed Alexander, Nick Bosa, Emmanuel Ogba, Channing Tindall, Craig Rousseau, I feel way. All right, so that was... In terms of our defense, that was really great. So with this win, we push forward towards a 9-6-1. and six and one. We should be solidifying our position in the playoffs, uh, actually. Maybe even moving up. But if we're fourth seed, it doesn't really matter too much. We stay down here. If we are third seed, we get a, maybe a little bit of an easier tie here. Um, the Bengals have pushed past the Jets. That is interesting. Um... But yeah, the playoffs are the playoffs. It's going to be tough no matter who we play. And um, I just want to get in there. We've got one more game to play. That's against the Jets away in week 18. Then the regular season is going to be over. And uh, yeah, I can't really wait to play the game. Can't see uh, who we're going to be playing in the uh, playoffs. And then just see how long we can get the run going. Uh, next week, we will take care of these upgrades here. We can also upgrade staff next week. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, for now, I'm going to be cutting the episode. Hope you enjoyed this game against the 49ers. I know I did. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.